Hi everybody, welcome to the Concrete Homestead. If you're new to the channel, we really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. Subscribe and leave us a comment or hit the like button. We thank you so much for watching. So we're building a concrete house in the woods. And uh, in this snippet, I am doing the very last weld on the beam and post. So I'm gonna put it on fast forward here. Okay, we're up at the electrical panel and uh, we had to weld down there so it's about 40 feet from the panel over to the house and then the uh, house is 60 feet more so uh, we made this homemade uh, uh, extension cord whatever lead for the welder at some leftover wire we had from something uh got a 50 amp breaker right there we just rigged it up for a couple hours and uh i'm not a professional electrician it's probably wrong but it worked and then we had our normal we couldn't quite make it to the end so we had our regular welder extension cord down there and we used that for three posts and then this thing got us the last three post and I think after I had that many extension cords with two it it wasn't quite as powerful as it should have been maybe but it worked fine and uh, so we're gonna unhook all this now and put that face cover back on so uh, I can't video and work at the same time so just telling you what's going on Okay, it's Thursday morning. We're down in the basement. We got uh, our six post in permanent, uh, four bolts in the bottom of each one, and then I just welded the top. And then right there's our seam. This beam's 40 foot, two and a half, I think, and this beam's 30 foot, 11 and a quarter. Welded that together. Uh, got along pretty good with our uh, Brought in a welding lead extension cord, and that worked good. So today, this morning, one job shouldn't take very long. I got four of these in-floor concrete, in-floor electrical boxes. So we bought one bag of quickcrete, and we made four little pads like this. We're just gonna, at the correct height, we're gonna bolt these boxes to these little concrete pads, um, and then, put in this conduit here. So there's the top of the boxes. So these four will be done. We'll run the conduit over to there where the uh, electric box will be. So we'll get that done. And then I think we're gonna work on outside waterproofing to finish out the day. Got a meeting at four o'clock, so it won't be a very as long a day today. And then tomorrow, Dick, our plumber's coming, so we're pretty excited about that, and we'll work on the bathroom plumbing. We'll keep you updated. 
Okay, here's what you do when you forget the tap cons. Even though you write it down. So tap cons are screws that go into concrete. So you have to drill a hole. Let's just drill one. This is hard to film and uh, call this a hammer drill okay so you got the hole drill normally you'd take a tap con and put in there but we're gonna take a side cuts can't do it one-handed okay here's the little piece of wire uh, for using for tying the rebar we call these wire ties cut one end off And I'm doing it left-handed, so you ought to be really impressed, okay? Put this piece of wire in the hole you just drilled, like so. Get a double-headed 16-penny nail. Has two heads on it. Put that in the hole. And... There you go. I got four on each box. So that is what you do when you forget to tap cons. Hope that helps. There goes the semi out. Light decks unloaded. That guy was very helpful. I don't know his name. He is going to Columbus for two weeks. That's where he lives to visit his family. So good for him. He's been on the road a while. Heading out. Okay, we're going to get an end of the day video here. Uh, a lot going on, and we'll just get a snippet and give you an update here. And uh, so get your bearing here. We're driving. Pretend we're walking up to the house from the driveway. Uh, first thing that stands out to me to my right, uh, all this gravel is gone. We had a big pile there for a month or two, and we used it and put it in the garage. So I'll just walk around for 
10 minutes here or so and tell you what's going on. So, and in no particular order or anything like that. So here's our load, what's left of our load. We got a week or two, two weeks ago of 87D. We use that to level up in the basement. So that gravel pile I was telling you about is gone. I made a ramp here and we started what's called backfilling the garage. Okay, your biggest change is waterproofing's on. So this stuff's called Delta MS. Uh, we don't have to put it on the inside of the garage. We just have to protect water from going into the basement. So that's why that looks like that. There's Delta over there. Okay, our beam is in. Saw that video. Okay. Uh, so here's what's going on. I am out of gravel. So I've got uh, 10 loads coming here any day and we'll start putting it down in here and around the outside because all our Delta MS is on. As you can see, the Delta MS is on and uh, we'll just go walk around the whole house here and get you updated and try to get this video out soon. Uh, plumber was supposed to come today. He didn't make it. So I'll show you that. Only thing we got down there is trenches still. So I'm walking down the ramp. We put this delta on a week ago or so so we could get rid of those trenches. That was on a previous video. We got a nice clean working area. Very efficient. Got a few two befores to put away, but it doesn't hurt to have a couple boards laying around in case you need them. So walking in the patio door, okay, we got the conduit in and the boxes for the in-floor electrical boxes. Be two down there and two up here. It's such a big room, we don't know where we're gonna have couches and chairs and tables, so we got some electrical outlets in the concrete floor. We got our beam in. That was quite challenging. Made those posts last week and got them in beams in straight so here's our conduit it's going underground here uh, so you can see a little bit of it there going underground and then right there will be the electrical box so there's a conduit coming up so we got our plumbing trenches dug here so hopefully he comes tomorrow or monday and uh, only take a half a day to get this rough in underground plumbing in Yes, going good. So we'll just go up the other way. I don't know if I've showed you. Uh, we got these waterproofed. We painted waterproofing on them because they'll be exposed to the elements for a few months to protect them. It's just uh, particle board, I guess I call it, but it's very, very, very strong. So we got grading done out here. This is similar to what it will look like someday. We'll have a fire ring down there, have cookout. And then we can go in here to the walkout basement and have a, if it rains or whatever. So that's pretty similar to what it's going to look like. So we started doing some grading over here after we got the Delta MS on. This is a, if I ever need a radon fan, I can hook up to that. I'm all ready for it, but don't think we'll need that, but uh, that'll get covered up with dirt. Nobody will know it's there except me and in the video. And uh, if we need radon, we'll put it in there. So right there is our f uh, foundation drain. So I need to shovel some of this dirt. I just put it here, level, and then I'll put a solid pipe, hook onto the foundation drain and drain it to daylight. We call it right out here. So that's what I'll do in a tomorrow morning. So I don't think it shows up on camera, some of these uh, elevations here. Uh, we got the Delta roll on, that's a huge accomplishment. Um, leftover concrete. So there's the bump out. Um, I'll go up top and film some of that. So I got 10 loads of gravel coming. We'll start putting it down here on top of the Delta. And uh, 
yeah i just don't have time to go over to the borrow pit and get any more gravel and uh, i'd like to get four to five feet of what we call backfill in then i'll be standing about here and then i had this top row of icf i have to brace it because that's got to hold the concrete floor in so i don't want to brace that off of ladders and stuff i want to put gravel in here about four or five feet and then i can just stand there and do all my bracing and let the gravel start to do the settling process so okay up here There'll be a, I call this the bump out. It's 35 feet over to there. It's three foot four out. That's where our front door will be. So it'll be a front porch, 35 feet. And that footing is not done yet. They, that porch comes out eight feet. So I made these boxes today and we got rebar in. When we pour the basement floor in a couple weeks, we'll pump concrete into those boxes. There's one there. And one over there, I got rebar in it. It goes down to the original footing. And that, I'll just call that a concrete beam or post. Uh, I didn't put hardly any screws in it so we can get it apart. And then there'll just be a chunk of concrete there and there. And then on the pour after the next, this will be backfilled. So picture gravel in there. Then I can pour the footings for the porch, which go right here. Those two tree, little trees got to come out. I can pour footings and then rest that footing on that beam. So there'll be what I call a grade beam from that beam over to virgin soil right here. So we won't have our porch uh, crack or anything. And then we can get those footings in. And uh, that's the plan. So yeah, this tree's got to go. I hate to... It's a nice tree, two of them, but uh, I don't know. I might try to save that little one for a little bit, but this one's all right here is in the porch. Okay, here's my other box. I got to straighten up my rebar for you, but uh, we'll pour concrete in there. So uh, that delta roll, I'm so glad that's on. I just don't like doing that stuff. And you're working down there and tripping all over gravel rocks and so we'll be doing the backfill process soon, as soon as we get our 10 loads of gravel delivered. Got our beam in. Um, we really need the plumber to show up. So hopefully he comes tomorrow. Uh, we got all our plastic off. Remember the plastic we put up to save cave-ins? We got that all off. We recycled it and took it over there and used it to cover up the light deck. I, you'll see on this video we got a delivery of light deck so let me show you one more thing over here and then I'll uh, shoot I covered up the light deck I can't really show it to you um, there was kind of a pile of gravel here trip hazard so we got that cleaned up so as soon as we get some washed stone in there that we got ordered we can clean up piles like this get rid of some of these weeds run over them uh, maybe even put a little bit of topsoil in some of this area so we can walk around a little better. But uh, let me run over here and see if I can show you the light deck. So basement plumbing's next, then radiant floor heat in the basement, then basement floor pour. So we're going to try to pour the basement floor in a couple weeks. Then after that is this light deck. So just bear with me here. I'm going to shut you off and uncover it. Okay. Here's the light deck. This is my basement ceiling or first floor concrete. Okay. It's two foot wide from the left side to the right side. Every piece is two foot wide. Every piece has a steel stud in it. See this? That's a piece of steel stud, that C. And there's one. Every piece has this knockout. Every piece has a groove 
and every piece has a tongue. Okay, every piece is cut to length also to fit on that house. So I don't know how many pieces is here. The lengths are written on the other end. Okay, so bear with me. This is what we call, I think they call this the hat. It's a piece of foam, six inches. So, imagine this light deck laid all down for my basement ceiling or first floor floor. We'll brace it from underneath per engineer's specs. We have to put temporary walls up to hold all that concrete weight. Okay, so when I put the tongue and groove together, I'll have a uh, two foot section I take this hat, see it's made, and it fits right there on top of that. So, don't have enough hands. So I end up with a, it's called a 12 inch plus four. I end up with a 12 inch beam, concrete beam right here. And then a four inch floor so it's 12 beam and a four inch floor and this all has rebar there's four number fives in this beam. every beam has four number fives two on the bottom and two on the top and then the floor has number three rebar 16 inches on the center so this is the continuation of the concrete house so this is pretty cool pretty exciting and then we also will lay our pecs our radiant heat will be laid on this light deck so that's our heat for the second floor we have radiant heat in the basement and radiant heat in the first floor so i'm gonna cover this back up in this video here we really appreciate you all watching and uh things are moving along we're getting along good we're being safe out here and uh, it's a slow process with just two of us, but it's going good, really. And we have accomplished a lot. We should be happy, and we are. We are very happy. And God has blessed us good. So we just want to thank our viewers. Please subscribe, like, and leave us a comment. That really helps us out. And you all go have a great day. Thanks, everybody.